Thank you. I'm going to start by trying to uh, uh, pretty much butcher a quote that should make, help you guys think about the way that we think about these kinds of problems. So the quote goes something like this. Um, Greater fleas have smaller fleas on their backs to bite them, and smaller fleas have even smaller fleas, and so on ad infinitum. Okay. So what I want you to start to think about is, is the way that we look at the world ends up being through this process of understanding parasitism and infectious disease dynamics that are even deeper within some of those parasites. My title and what I'm going to talk to you today about is Ecoepidemiology, Endemism, and Zoonoses. Those are large words that we should define really quickly. Ecoepidemiology really is using ecology in an epidemiological context so that we can take the, the tools of ecology, population biology, the understanding of dynamics within animals, and then use those tools to influence how it is that we either block the transmission of particular infectious diseases, or in some cases, um, uh, just inform public health policy and folks like, for instance, at Flagstaff Medical Center in what is out there. 